here I am leaving France behind. France is behind me. Can't see it. That's France there, that's why I've just come. And now I'm heading over the rest of the bridge into Germany, which is there. Bring on Germany. This is the River Rhine. And obviously on this side, that side over there is France. And on this side is Germany. Absolutely massive and vast, that bit river. What an amazing view as well. That's the path I'm just coming along there. Stunning. Onwards I go. So, this is Germany. I know it's early days, but I'm going to say it, I like it already. I came over the bridge, it took me a minute or so to work out whether I could continue continue to cycle on that road because there were signs for the autobahn. Um, but when I went over and carried on, there was a, a sign for a cycle path in the corner and I reluctantly followed it round and down and it's labelled points into the next village with the next village's um, name on it and I followed it along for the last 10 minutes and at every single junction and turn and anything you can think of there's a, a sign with an arrow pointing which way to go so it is already a million times better than France and I've got a feeling that I can basically follow these cycle paths all the way through Germany if they're going to be this good I've got the, the names of the towns and the villages I need to go through to get to Stuttgart and then on to Munich and then on to Passau or Passu and uh, hopefully I can just follow these these cycle paths. I've been told that it is a million times better than France and it's already looking like that. So yeah, see what happens. So I've just stopped for the day. Um, first impressions of Germany, it's much nicer than France. I've just stopped at an actual campsite um, and it's cost me five euros for the night, um, which is, you know, paying to camp, but it's the peace of mind knowing that you're actually able to be there. Um, I didn't get as far as I'd like today. I didn't get to Stuttgart, which is frustrating, but um, it took me a while to get out of Strasbourg because as per usual just as I would be leaving France the French road system thought they'd have one last laugh and as I took these roads to leave these D roads the divisional roads which basically means that they're just run and maintained by the local council instead of the, um, the government they're roads that you can cycle on you can cycle on D roads except when they close them to cyclists so I got almost halfway down a road on the way out and they put the, the blue square with the uh, white car symbol in, which means no longer for cyclists, only for cars. So I then had to turn around and try and find another route out of Strasbourg, which just made the whole thing just ridiculously, just ridiculous, basically. Um, since I've been in Germany, the cycle paths have been pretty simple to follow. They do take a little bit longer than the roads because they take a more scenic route. But then again, I wouldn't have come I'm into this place. I feel like I'm spinning like in the sound of music. Um, but yeah, so first impressions are not great distance today, but at least I'm in the country. I'm in Germany, finally. I think tomorrow I should get to Stuttgart and hopefully out of Stuttgart and then on to Munich. And then the real, the real test will start when I get to Passau and pick up the Donu, or the Danube as we call it, the Donu and follow that along. Um, it was really great yesterday meeting Adam and Anna and being able to spend a day with Adam chatting and just, you know, talking nonsense, just having someone that speaks English as a first language around, um, especially as Adam's just started travelling at the same kind of time that I have. So he was talking about the same kind of issues that I was having, um, you know, making the decisions on your own and the fact that it does actually get quite lonely because it is quite difficult to uh, meet people. And yesterday was the first time that I've stayed in a hostel on the trip and met people because I've stayed in in a hostel in Paris and I um I didn't didn't meet anyone um so it was nice to do that but it's a stark reminder today that now you're back on your own again um but 
today is a positive day because it's absolutely beautiful and I've, I, I can't tell you how many cyclists I've seen since I've come into Germany, but not the kind that ride on the like the road bikes and are doing it for a sport, but just everyday people having, you know, going on a cycle with their friends and family with loads of bags packed up on the bike, like they're going on, you know, camping and things like that. Countless people, and every single one of them stops to have a chat, to talk about something. I met a guy called um, Martin, who's German, who's cycling down to the source of the River Donje to follow that, hopefully, to China. He told me he'd met a German guy that's also trying to cycle around the world that's gone to visit his brother somewhere in Germany. Um, you know, I met a German guy who was cycling from work in the village down the road who told me about this camping place when I asked him anywhere to stay tonight. And on the way there, I asked somebody else if I was going the right way and they then went, let me show you. And, it, you know, it's just a complete different attitude in Germany. They're more willing to speak English to you. They're so much friendlier. Um, so it's, it's looking really positive at the moment. We'll just um, have to see what happens next.